Hey guys, this is Food by Faith and welcome to my garden. Today we are going to do three step bulb planting. As you can see, I'm using my bulb planter to make some holes, some shallow, some deep. The ones that I'm making that are kind of shallow are the ones that I'm gonna put the California garlic in. The ones that I'm making that are deep are the ones that will get the garlic bulbs. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to plant uh, the front portion of my shed and then the side portion of my shed. And it will be planted with the bulbs that I showed you guys in a previous video that I was able to pick up from Lowe's for 50% off. And this little handy tool that I picked up from Lowe's, the bulb planter, is nice. And this is the garlic that I'm planting. Um, it has already been inspected while I was at the store. You can actually see through the bottom. But I'm gonna let you guys see that they are some nice tight bulbs. And we're just gonna break the bulbs apart. You guys have seen me plant garlic in past videos. So here, all I'm doing is breaking that bulb apart and placing the rough side down and the pointy side up. I'm gonna add a little bulb plus as a fertilizer and it will be the last time that I fertilize until the spring. And these are some of the bulbs. Nice and healthy looking. Bottoms are healthy. Tops are healthy. And just like the garlic, we are going to plant the rough portion of the bulb down and the pointed portion upwards. You'll be able to see later on in the video that the um, packaging of the bulbs tells you that you can actually plant them in any direction, but I prefer to plant the pointed portion of the bulb upwards. And I also kind of plant my bulbs a little deep so that I can keep the critters away. Um, shortly after filming this video, the next day, I went outside to check the bulbs to make sure my dogs didn't go behind me and dig them up or no bugs, not bugs, excuse me, no birds didn't dig them up. I actually only had two that were above ground. Because as you can see in the corner, you'll see my dogs watching me. Um, especially when I was digging the holes, I have to be mindful because they are attempting to assist me when they go behind me and they dig. So I really do have to be mindful when they are watching me when I'm digging holes. But I am doing this voiceover because you guys know that planting bulbs and planting garlic is a quick process um but i was doing it kind of in a hurry but i wanted to bring you guys along with me and there was a lot of outside noise so i thought it would be better to do the voiceover now we're going to the other side i've already previously dug some holes now I'm putting down my bow plus. And I'm not putting too much of the product down, just kind of sprinkling it inside the holes before I place the fragrant collection bulbs in as well as the garlic. That package of California garlic from Lowe's came with three bulbs in it and I broke those bulbs down. I ended up getting about 20 nice size bulbs, um, cloves, excuse me. The smaller cloves I still planted, but 
I am pretty sure that they may or may not come up. As you can see again, this set of bulbs is just as healthy as the last. Guys, if you have a Lowe's near you, periodically check the gardening section um, because they tend to put bulbs, onions, garlic on sale. And that is because it takes up a lot more space than the seeds do. So now I had a few bulbs left and a few garlic cloves left. So I'm adding a few additional holes. And guys, this bulb planter or bulb digger is very handy. I am super glad that I purchased it because when I was doing my flower bed, I only had a small trowel and oh my goodness, it was a lot of work because the clay sand or the clay dirt, excuse me, was very hard. So trying to put that trowel in there, I had to kind of soak down that garden bed area and then dig holes. So I thought it would be best that if I had a chance that I would get an actual bulb digger and I had a credit at Lowe's and so I got this plus quite a bit more items. But I spend a lot of time at Lowe's as a gardener. I tend to spend quite a bit of time checking things out there. Always looking for something on sale for my garden. And guys, as you can see, I'm not doing anything special. Just digging the hole, placing the bulb, and then using my foot and covering the holes back up with the excess dirt. I thought about mulching them in, but decided against that because when it comes springtime, I believe that area will be nice and filled out and mulching, there's just no need for it. If you would like to mulch for aesthetic purposes, you can go ahead and do that. But for me, it's not a big deal. Being able to get the beautiful flowers is all I'm looking for. And as you can see here, there were 20 plants in that first fragrant collection and 20 in the second. So that lets you know that there were 40 bulbs all together. And these are the instructions on the back as well as a few did you know statements. So now I'm going to put up my tools and go and get some of my super juice because although the soil is wet from a recent rain, I still want to water the bulbs in. So guys, as you can see, planting your flower bulbs and your garlic is just as simple as one, two, three. Now I am headed back to the other portion of my garden. This is my stinky, stinky super juice. I'm going to pour the excess back into the bucket and I'll use that for the rest of my garden later on this week and then I'll bury those scraps um, in a different portion of the garden that's not being used right now. 